In today's Rocket League video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best camera settings in Rocket League in 2024. If you guys struggle to hit shots like these on your screen now, then be sure to stay to the end of the video. But before we get to that, make sure to hit that subscribe button and follow me on all my socials below because I live stream on TikTok, Twitch, and YouTube almost every single day and I hit shots just like these. Alright guys, so basically these settings are good for hitting clips mainly, but you can rank up from them as well. I am currently Grand Champion 2 in 2v2, um, but I've peaked at GC3, high GC3, almost 1800 with these settings. So these settings are not just good for clip hitting, they are also good for competitive as well. So be sure to try them out, um, but yeah, let's get straight into it guys. So basically, field of view, we have at 110, distance at 270, height 80, angle negative 4, stiffness 0.35, swivel speed 4.7, transition speed 1.7, and demo transition time at 0.5. Basically, I'm going to go through all these settings and explain what they do. Um, so basically, if you look at my screen now, and I turn down the field of view, it basically just gets the, it uh, turns the camera closer to the car. Um, if you guys look at the bottom of the camera settings, it says controls the size of your field of vision. Increasing this may reduce motion sickness. Um, so basically, all the pros have this at 110. The lowest you guys can go, I'd say, is 107. So I'd stick between 107 and 110. Um, but yeah, I would just say 110. 109 or 110. Distance, 270. I would put this, honestly, you have a lot of room to do this, but competitively, I would do 260 to like 300. Nothing above, nothing below. Um, some pros use like 240, 230, but I wouldn't go below that. So I just use 270 right in the middle. That's what all the pros use. 80 height is really good. Not many people use this, but I think they're going to start using it. Um, a lot of pros either use 90, 100, or 110. A lot of players on 190. Um, but I switched to 80 because, as you guys can see, if I go to 110, um, look at, like, if I go ahead and get a flip reset, look at how my car reacts to it. See how it, like, bounces off? See how, see how much it bounces, even on the double flip reset? Um, but if we go to 80, look at how much the difference is. Uh, look at how smooth my flip resets are. So, say I get a flip reset. See how smooth they are? Like, it just sticks to the ball a lot better. Um, a lot of people would disagree with this. But, I mean, as you guys clearly just saw, I literally just proved it. I mean, look how smooth those resets are compared to 110. And, I mean, obviously, if we go all the way up, say we do, like, 120. Um, I used 120 for a little bit, like a week. But let's see 120. Um, see what flip resets look like. See how much they bounce off? Like, they, the flip resets are just not smooth. Um, that's why AJ and good mechanical pros use, like, 90 and 100 because they don't bounce that much. But 80 is just... It's super smooth. So that's why I use 80. Um, and to balance that out, I use negative 4 angle. Uh, I would say if you're using 80 height, use negative 4 to negative 6 angle. Um, negative 3, I think, is just too low, as you guys can see. It's, like, too low to the ground. Um, but negative 4 is, like, a perfect in-between, like, mechanical and uh, competitive sense. So I think it's a good uh, in-between. Yeah, if you're using, like, 90 height, if you're using 90 to 110, I would say negative 3 to negative 5 is your... Uh, sweet spot but if you use 80 i would say uh negative four to negative six is your sweet spot um but yeah so let's go ahead and hit a nice shot here double to a double tap bang um uh stiffness is all, the rest of these three are all personal preference stiffness is 0.35 zen started this trend of 0.35 so everybody copies him so i just went ahead and went with it too um super mechanical pro if you guys don't know who zen is um you guys should check him out i'm sure everybody knows who zen is but yeah 0.35 uh swivel speed 4.7 it's what all the pros use basically um some pros use like 10 but i don't transition speed is 1.7 this actually is an important setting honestly um it depends on how like you snap the ball like the speed of that like as you can see it's very fast but it, i can also process what's going on like in between the snapping um like if it's at two here um you literally can't see anything and it also is just very it hurts your head as you guys can see you probably got a headache now you're welcome um but if we used one it's very it's too slow almost it's so slow it like hurts it hurts just as much as using it on two so i would say like 1.7 1.8 is perfect um i know nash uses like 1.8 or 1.9 but i use 1.7 really good and then demo demo transition time i literally just put this right in the middle dead center in the middle um really doesn't matter honestly but i just like 0.5 I uh, changed it like the first day I saw one pro use it. It might have been NAS, honestly, but um, yeah, so I just kept that ever since. 
Um, and then for the steering sensitivity in dead zones, I have 1.3 on both of these because that's what Daniel and all the NA pros use. So I just think it's right. And I've played on it almost my entire career. So 1.3 is uh, my sensitivity. Controller dead zone 0.05. It all depends on your controller. If you have stick drift, um, I would raise it a little bit if you have stick drift. Um, 0.15 is really good um, just for mechanical plays like delayed musties and double taps and everything like that. Um, just being able to control your car is a lot easier. But I like 0.05 for the because I don't have a lot of stick drift and I'm also able to play uh, competitive at a high level. I cannot talk wholly. Uh, Dodge dead zone 0.8. Um, just because I backflip, uh, not a lot, but I do backflip when I go for aerial, so I like to minimize that by using a higher uh, flip dead zone um, or dodge dead zone. And yeah, a lot of you guys will ask for my controls, but basically everything is default. I have power slide and regular air roll on L1. Uh, I have air roll right on my reverse button, which is L2, and air roll left on square. Um, for like half flips and stuff like that if you guys need me to do a tutorial Because um, a lot of you guys ask how I half flip and it's very simple um, I'm still able to half flip with arrow right on my reverse button um, as you guys can see it's still very very simple um, But I can give you guys a tutorial if you guys would like on that Because uh, a lot of you guys usually uh, ask questions in the comments when I show you guys that or tell you I have it on my reverse button, but if you guys need a tutorial, I will make a tutorial on how to half flip with it on your reverse or drive button. Uh, moving ahead, that's literally all I've changed. Uh, besides free play settings, maybe like um, reset and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so that's basically all my settings. You can pause and go back. Interface 100, 100, 150. Name plate scale, I would say keep it between 100 and 200. 200 is really good, but it's also a little bit too big. 100 is pretty good, but it's also a little too small. I just went right in the middle at 150. Call it a day. I uh, get the best of both worlds. Um, all of these don't really matter, honestly. Um, so you guys can copy these if you want. Video settings, all on high performance and performance. Uh, frames per second, 240, uh, 1080p. Uh, all these are off. Sometimes if you guys want to mess with these you guys can because I there was a point in time where I did mess with these um, I turn on high quality shaders ambient occlusion uh, And dynamic shadows uh, I when I turn these on I don't know why but I hit so many clips with these um, In one of my live streams. I was actually going really crazy with the clips I hit like a pancake like a reset musty pancake double or something um, it was a super clean shot with these settings and you guys can tell because if somebody if I'm using shadows in one of my clips or like one of my shorts where I post my clips um, you guys can tell because obviously I have shadows on but right now I'm not really feeling it I don't like it I just want to play the game normally without any distractions or shadows or anything like that but they can help because um, the shadows can help with like perceiving the depth of the ball and everything like that but uh, yeah, so basically those are all my settings. Um, here's my audio settings if you guys want them for whatever reason. Uh, my chat settings if you guys want them and my quick chat. Um, but yeah, that's all of my Rocket League camera settings uh, updated. I honestly don't plan on changing these um, like I normally do just because I feel so good with these and I've hit so many clips with these. Um, I just feel so consistent compared to any other camera settings that I've used. Um, yeah, we'll see. You know, I always change my camera settings, so we'll see. But yeah, these are the best camera settings in Rocket League settings of 2024. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And like I said in the intro, I am live almost every single day on TikTok, Twitch, and YouTube. Uh, so if you guys want to hit that subscribe button and follow, uh, all of my socials are going to be in the description below. Um, but thank you guys all so much for watching the video, and I will see you guys in the next one, boys. Peace.